Welcome, yogis. Change is something that's constant in the universe, but it's something that we tend to be really resistant to. Even though this is really the one truth that we could count on in anything in our natural existence. But we really have a choice on how we change. We could either change to die or we could change to grow. Everything in nature moves in one of these two directions. The beauty of change is the choice is yours on how you change. Hey yogis, we're going to start in a standing forward fold at the top of our mat. Take the feet about hips distance apart. Add a soft little bend in the knees. Relax the belly over the top of the thighs. Soften the spine. Let the head hang really, really heavy. Relax the shoulders. Bring the backs of the hands down to the mat. Soften the jaw, the cheeks, even the eyelids. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Again, take a deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more like that, just full deep inhale into the belly, into the chest, into the upper back. And let it go. It's really important as you move into a place of growth that you always start with room to grow. And sometimes that means to get there, we need to empty out a little bit. We need to let go of those things that aren't serving us, those things that we don't need, but we're holding on to anyways. Call this hoarding for the mind. When we start hoarding things, then it becomes a sickness. And the more you hoard the harder it is to break free from this illness. But if you start unpacking a little bit, just day by day, little by little, then all those things that you're hoard holding on to, all those things that you're hoarding get less and less. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Expand out through the spine, straighten the legs. If you need to bring your hands to your shins, or to the thighs, wherever it feels comfortable for you to find a nice long neutral spine. Lengthen the back of the neck, draw the shoulders down, lift the sits bones up just a little bit so you create a little uh, back bend through the low back. Deep inhale. The exhale, fold back in. Inhale, come back up. Step the left foot to the back of the mat, lower the left knee down. Reach the arms up. Bring the palms to the heart. Move the hips forward and down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Interlace the fingers into Kali Mudra. Wrap the triceps in. Move the hips forward and down. Bring the gaze up between the arms. Draw back on the right hip. Engage into the left glute just a little bit more. Lift the chest and lift the heart. Sink it down. Move the hips back so the hips are over the knee. Bring the left hand down to the mat. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Start with a little gentle twist. Draw the right knee more into midline. Lift the right chest up. Pull the lower left ribs up. Almost like you're working the belly button over on the top of the right thigh. Once you have a lot of activation through the side body, open the chest and reach your right arm over towards the left wall even more so you're opening up into the shoulder as well as into this chest muscle. Imagine that someone is pushing on your hand, pushing it to the ground behind you and peel your chest open just a little bit more. Bring the right arm back up to the sky. Keep this twist. Balance on your left knee. Step the right foot to the back of your mat. Set the foot down. Turn the palm over. Bend deep through the side body. Inhale, lift the bottom, left ribs higher. Exhale, reach through the right arm a little longer. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Draw the right knee into the chest. Hold it here. Nice and slow, maybe extend the right leg over towards the right wall. Press out through the heel. Gaze forward. Square off through the shoulders and through the hips. Take the right foot all the way to the front of the mat. Keep the legs straight. Move nice and slow, nice and strong. Set the heel down. Half splits. Draw back on the right hip. Lift the left sits bones up a little bit higher. Inhale, create space and length. Exhale, fold in. Lift the right sit bone. One more inhale. On the exhale, bend the right knee, step the left foot forward. Fold down into the mat. Inhale, lengthen up halfway, maybe hands to the shins. Create a long, neutral spine. Exhale, fold down. Press down through the heels. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Extend out through the fingers, reach up through the palms. Touch the hands together, bring the hands to the heart. Allow this moment, this opportunity to set the intention. Now, the only way that we can move, the only way we could go is forward, but the only way where we could be is here. So it's this paradox of understanding that change is happening and the change that we experience is now. So we think of change as this futuristic thing, like we're afraid of what might happen in the future, but change could only happen in the present. When you start to experience this, you start to realize this, you, you understand that it, everything is always changing, but also nothing is really changing. Like no matter how long you look at grass, in that moment grass isn't growing, but it is still always growing. With an inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Lower the right knee down, move the hips forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Sweep the arms forward and up, move the hips forward and down. Interlace the fingers into Kali Mudra, wrap the triceps in, lift the heart up. Create a nice back bend. Draw back on the left hip, engage into the right glute, press the right thigh bone forward, lift the heart up. Shift the hips back, bring your right hand down to the mat, reach the left arm up to the sky, open up across the chest. Keep reaching up through the left hand, lift the bottom right ribs up, create a little bit more twist and activation through the side body. Imagine you're lifting your belly button up over the top of the left thigh. Start to reach your left arm over towards the right wall, even more open, expand across the chest. Imagine someone's grabbing a hold of your hand and pulling it towards the left wall even more. Create a deep stretch across the chest muscle and the shoulder. Come back to center. Keep the twist, plant the right hand, balance onto the right knee, lift the left foot up, step it to the back of the mat. Spin the left palm, reach it overhead, lift the bottom right ribs, breathe deep through the side body. Create line, a long line of extension all the way from the outer edge of the left foot straight down through the left middle finger. Lift the bottom right ribs even higher. Breathe. Press into the right hand. Find your balance. Lift the left leg up. Draw the left knee into the chest. You can hold it here. If you're looking for a little bit more, extend the left leg over towards the left wall. Lift the leg higher. Flex out through the heel. Look forward, slowly start to square off through the hips, send the heel all the way to the front of the mat. Set it down, 
half splits. Draw back on the left heel, create a little micro bend on the left knee, lengthen the chin towards the shin, lift the right sit bone up even higher round and fold into the left leg. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, halfway up. Plant the hands. This time, step back to downward facing dog. First down dog, but maybe the hamstrings are feeling a little bit warmer as we come into this position. Bend into the knees, move into the hips, wrap the triceps down, press in the hands, extend the body away from you. Inhale. Open the mouth, exhale. This is a, going to be a pretty challenging class, but try to be in each movement, each moment, the best you can. Know that change only happens through stress. It's really when we stress something, when we put it under challenge, that we see growth. Actually, that's not true. Change happens both ways, but the change that we want happens through stress. If you do nothing, you become nothing. So it's really through this intention of action, through this process of challenge, that we see growth happen in our lives, in our bodies, in our minds, in our relationships. All these things happen through this and when it comes to the mind a lot of it happens based on the choices that we make from these things so inhale lift the heels up nice and high bend the knees gaze forward with an exhale float softly to the top of the mat inhale lengthen up halfway exhale fold back in press down to the heels inhale reach the arms up Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Maybe add a little back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, float it back, chaturanga. Hold it here. Three, two, one. Untuck the toes, upward facing dog. Engage into the glutes, draw the shoulders back, lift up through the crown of the head. Breathe into the belly. Flow it back, downward facing dog. Press into the inner hands, wrap the triceps down, lengthen the sits bones up. There's all different forms of meditation that we could take, seated meditation, walking meditation, moving meditation. Meditation is this beautiful thing with its goal of being here, being aware, not necessarily being in control of the mind, but being aware of the mind when it starts to run away and then asking the mind if it wants to come back. Our vinyasa practice becomes a type of meditation, a type of moving meditation where we're constantly asking our mind to be aware, present, conscious. And we do this through the movement, through the alignment. We do it through the stress, the struggle, the challenge. We do it through the letting go. So we look for all these qualities as we move. With an inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, softly step, float, or Handstand to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, fold it back in. Press down through the heels. Inhale, reach the arms up. Extend out through the fingers. Grow nice and tall. Touch the palms together. Separate the elbows. Draw the hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Plant the palms, float it back, chaturanga. Hold it here. Three, 
two. Untuck the toes, upward facing dog. Draw the shoulders back, extend up through the crown of the head, engage into the glutes, breathe into the belly. Lift it up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward, float to a little ball. Land in chair pose, sink the butt down, reach the arms up. I was making this class up, I was talking to Susan here, and I said, what should we do? We're doing some core stuff, and she said, well, let's do chair pose for 25 minutes. And I said, that sounds like a great idea, so for the next 25 minutes, we're going to be right here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> sink the butt all the way down to the ground, extend the legs up. Navasana. If the hamstrings are tight or the quads are sore, you could bend the knees as well, whatever option you'd like to take. I usually say shaking the legs is not something that you want, but in this pose, I think shaking the legs is, is pretty good. I think that's a good sign that we're pushing ourselves. Lift the chest up a little bit higher. Bring the feet down to the ground. Lean forward, chair pose, Utkatasana. Wrap the triceps in, draw the shins back. Press down through the heels, inhale, stand. Exhale, bring the palms to the heart. Chair pose, sink the butt down, reach the arms up. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen up, halfway expand. Plant the palms, float back, chaturanga. Hold it here, three, two, Untuck the toes, inhale, upward facing dog. Draw the chest forward, shoulders down, gaze forward. Lift up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Press out through the right toes or right heel. Wrap the triceps down, create length and extension through the side body. Lift the right leg even higher. Come up high on the left toes. Draw the right knee to the right tricep, squeeze it in. Lower the right knee down to the right wrist. Hover it here. Send it over towards the left wrist and hold. Pull it up into the left armpit. Hold it here. Send it over towards the right armpit. Hold. Reach it up and back, single leg down dog. Lift the right leg even higher. Come up high on the left toes. Shift forward, plank pose. Draw the right knee into the chest, round the spine. Create more separation between the knee and the floor. Flex the foot. Set the foot down between the hands. Crescent lunge, inhale, rise up. Wrap the triceps in. Extend up through the fingers. Lean over the top of the right leg. Draw the left knee into the chest. Send the left leg forward. Sit the butt down. Keep the left leg straight, roll onto your back, reach the right leg out in front of you, take the arms up overhead. Lift the chest up a little bit higher, reach out through the fingers. Draw the right knee into the chest, rock up, plant the right foot, reach your arms forward. You can use your hands if you need to, do your best. One movement, right back into Vira Vajrasana 1. Plant, step the left foot all the way back, spin the back foot out of 45, reach the arms up, wrap the triceps in, stand up to the fingertips, sink a little bit deeper into the right leg. Pull back on the right hip, engage and energize into the outer edge of the left foot, reach up, soften the breath, sink deeper into the right leg. Three. Sink a little deeper. Two. Inhale. The exhale, plant the hands. Your vinyasa, float it back. Move with the breath. Slow and controlled. Inhale. Exhale. Continuously emptying out. every breath, just unpacking a little bit more of that junk, that clutter. 
Inhale, reach the left leg up. Point out through the toes or press out through the heel, your choice. Lift your right belly up off the thigh just a little bit more. Lift the left leg a little higher. Press into the hands. Come up high on the right toes. Shift forward, draw the left knee to the left tricep. Round it in, squeeze it all together. Hold it here. Slowly lower it down to the left wrist and hover. Hold. Engage into the core. Move it over to the right wrist. Hold it here. Pull it up into the right tricep. Hold. Reach it up and back, single leg down dog. Come up high on the right toes. Gaze forward, shift forward, plank pose. Press the ground away. Wrap the triceps back. Square off through the hips. Maybe that means lower the left hip just a little bit more. Roll the inner left thigh up. Draw the left knee into the chest, round the spine. Create more separation between the floor and your knee. Press the ground away, protract through the scapula. Flex the left foot, place the foot between the thumbs. Find your nice stable base with an inhale, reach your arms up. Crescent lunge. Wrap the triceps in. Lean over the top of the left leg. Draw the right knee into the chest. Keep it here. Extend the right leg forward. Bend the left leg. Come onto your back. Keep the right foot flexed. Reach the arms up overhead. Lift the chest up. Extend the left foot forward. Hold it here. Engage. Three. Soften and lift. Two. One. Pull the left knee into the chest. Rock up. Plant your left foot. Best you can with your hands if you need them. Uh, challenge yourself. Maybe don't use the hands. Warrior one. Spin the right foot at a 45. Wrap the triceps in. Extend up through the side body. Sink a little deeper into the left leg. Draw back with the left hip. Engage into the right glute. Reach up through the fingers. Soften the breath. It's easy to breathe hard. It's challenging to breathe soft. We're here for the challenge. Three. Sink a little deeper. Two. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the ground. Step, hop, or float it back through your vinyasa. Bring the feet together at the back of the mat. Lift the heels. Bend the knees, gaze forward. Float to a little ball. Land in chair. Nice and slow. Sink the butt down. Reach the arms up. Wrap the triceps back. Draw the shins back. Sink it a little lower. Engage into the core. Squeeze the low ribs together, but not down. Reach up to the fingers. Sink it a little lower. Press down through the heels. Inhale, stand. Bring the hands to the heart. Utkatasana. There's a reason why this pose is called fierce pose. Sink the butt back, draw the ribs in. Lift the chest up. Take it a little lower, a little lower, a little lower. All the way down. Set the butt down. Navasana. Lift the chest, point out through the toes. Lower, halfway down, reach the arms overhead. Reach the arms forward, lift up. Just five of these. I say just because I'm trying to downplay how hard they are. <laughs> Lower, halfway down, reach the arms overhead. For two. Reach your arms forward, rise back up. Lower down, halfway. Reach your arms overhead for three. Reach your arms forward, rise up. Halfway down, reach your arms overhead for four. 
Reach your arms forward. Lift up. There we go. Last one. Slowly lower. Reach your arms overhead for five. Hold it here. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Reach your arms forward. Rise up. Bend the knees. Plant the feet. Come forward. Low chair. Straighten the legs, fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway. <laughs> Have a big smile for just making it through that. Exhale, fold back in. <laughs> Sometimes when you're in it, you're like, what the? You know, it's, I told you, this, the shake's good. That means we're working. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Plant the palms, float it back, chaturanga. Hold it here. Three, two, one. Straighten the arms, plank pose. Wrap the triceps back. Hold it here. Squeeze the inner thighs, lift up, tuck the tailbone. Move the hips to the wrist, upward facing dog. Draw the shoulders back, lift up through the crown of the head, engage into the glutes. Squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. From the low belly, lift yourself up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Press out through the heel or the toe, square off through the hips. Press into the inner hands, create more length and space through the side body. Come up high into the left toes. Draw the right knee into the chest and shift forward. Hold it here. This move is going to be a little interesting. Slowly lower the knee, like towards the middle of the hands. Gaze forward and lift the chest up. Draw the knee into the chest, round the spine. For three. Slowly lower the knee down towards the mat. Bring the gaze forward. Look forward, press the ground away. Do your best to not touch the knee to the mat, but take it as close as you can. Lift it up for two. Slowly lower the knee towards the mat. Hover it here. Do your best not to touch the mat. Lift it up. One. Roll onto the instep of the left foot. Reach the left arm up to the sky. Lift the right hip up even higher. Extend the right leg out. Set the outer edge of the foot down. Slide it forward towards the right hand a little bit more so it's really up and you're really wide through the legs. Reach the left arm overhead, open up across the chest. Actually, bring, sorry, bring your foot back so it's a little bit more line in the hips. The more forward is gonna make this next move really, really challenging. Square off through the hips, come onto the toes. Shift forward, bring more weight into the fingertips of the right hand. Draw the left knee into the side body and hold it here. Extend it to the back of the mat, open up. Square off through the hips, reach the left arm forward, shift forward, draw the left knee into the left tricep, squeeze it in, hold, engage to the side body, step it back, open up. Breathe nice and soft through the nose. Roll onto the left toes, shift forward, draw the left knee into the chest. This time, step it over the leg right next to the hand. Keep the foot where it's at. Inhale, reach the arms up. Bring the hands to the heart. Separate the elbows, twist towards the left. Cross the right tricep over the top of the right thigh. Press the left hand into the right hand. Lift the bottom right ribs up. Bend the left knee, the one that's on your mat, a little bit more. Keep bending it more, bring the gaze forward, lift the bottom right ribs even higher. Lift the right foot up, the one that's not on your mat, float it up, reach it straight back behind you, and point through the toes. Lift the right leg even higher. Draw the knee into the chest, stand up. Reach the arms up. Take the leg out in front of you. Point through the toes. Reach up through the fingers. 
draw the knee into the chest, reach it forward, warrior three, extend the leg out. Soften the outer right hip down, lift the arms up. Draw the right knee in so it's right next to the left knee. Bring the hands to the heart. Like a, we're opening a clamshell, open the right knee to the side wall and twist the chest towards the right wall. Close it down. Two more of these really working on this balance. Open it up. Close it down nice and slow. Last one, open it up. Reach the right leg behind you, bend the left knee, float it all the way back, windmill the arms up, Virabhadrasana two. Sink down into the legs, find your nice wide stance. Firm into the outer edge of the right foot, sink a little bit deeper into the left knee. Make sure the left knee is tracking with the left toes. Extend out through the fingers. Turn the left palm, bring the right hand to the right thigh, reach the left arm up. Extend up through the side body, create a lot of length and extension like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Keep going even farther, breathe into the belly. On the exhale, lean back. The inhale, lift up. Exhale, lean back, sink deeper into the left leg. One more, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lean back. Inhale to warrior two. Bring the left forearm to the top of the thigh. Light weight here. Do your best not to just dump down into it. Instead, press yourself up a little bit more. Sweep the right hand across, down towards the floor. Reach it up and forward, open the chest. Extend out through the fingertips, extended side angle, right arm towards the front of the room. Wrap the tricep down, pinky side down. Engage into the right glute. Extend the left arm to mirror the right. Both arms forward, lift up through the side body a little bit more. Hold it here, five, four, Three, two, keep the arms, look down at the left leg, float it up, full moon. Hold it here, three, two, one. Keep this, reach the left arm out to the left side, reach the right leg out to the right, grab a hold of the knee or the big toe if you have it. Whatever you have, knee or the foot, stand up. Trivikram. If you fall, just reset. Lift up, extend. 